Hey, this is Jason Roselle, and welcome to Get Inspired, the official podcast and YouTube show that will empower your mind, body, business, social media branding, relationships, and anything that's holding you back from becoming the best version of you. Listen, before I became a TV personality, an author, a celebrity trainer, a life and wellness coach, and the founder of Caliente Fitness, I was broke obese for 20 plus years, full of stretch marks, full of excuses, and most importantly, here's the deal. I was unhappy. I was able to change my life completely, and since then, I've helped thousands do the same. This show is gonna bring you awesome guests, tons of helpful programs that'll aid you, but most importantly, your questions and topics that will make this show your show. My question is this, are you ready to get inspired? Well, get ready, because the show starts now. It's a good day to have a good day. This is Jason Rosell. Right now you're tuned in to Get Inspired with Jason. Do you love, maybe hate, or maybe you're curious about social media? What about investments? You know, I got to tell you many years ago, if you would have asked me, hey, Jay, I want you to be on social media like 10, 12 hours a day. I would have been like, you can't pay me enough money. You would have told me (laughs) about investing. I would have told you, (laughs) yeah, right. I don't want to learn about that. Most of my income is due to social media and investments. The reason I brought one of the most iconic guests to today's show and topic, his name is Corrado. And not only is he a brilliant investor, real estate mogul, and social media genius, he's going to give you a quick insight into his life and major tips on how you can elevate your branding and social media. Welcome to Get Inspired, Corrado. Thanks for having me, Jason. How you feeling, Thanks. dude? Amazing, amazing. What, you, dude, you're a handsome guy. How can you not feel amazing? <laughs> Come on. So, yeah, man. so tell us a little background. You know, obviously, you've been yep. a real estate mogul for many years. Major yep. success in social media. You were a professional soccer player overseas in Italy, and then mm-hmm. made a just a major impact in, in, in Canada. So walk us through in under two minutes why the audiences should be like, oh my God, I am a Corrado fan. Let's go. Well, it all started from soccer, right? So I started playing soccer at a young age. You know, my, my dream was to play in Italy. Uh, I got the opportunity to go to Italy, experience it, play the sport. I did very well, but, uh, you know, I was, I was, I was really young. I was about 16, 17 years old when I had to make the decision if that was something that I want to pursue. But uh, there's a lot of politics. And deep down inside, I loved business and I always wanted to own my own business. Um, So I didn't like the politics when I was in Europe. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go back to Toronto and, and, you know, start start a business. I started a nightclub promotion company called Just Entertainment. And then from there, I started I started an extreme PETA franchise with some of the money that I made. And then um, that didn't go so well, learned a lot from that, and then got into uh, into real estate. Um, real, I, I got into real estate because the nightclub scene was basically dying down in Toronto. A lot, of, a lot of the nightclubs were being bought by developers and builders, and they're turning them into condos. And that's what kind of intrigued me to like get into real estate um, because like I saw so much development happening. So yeah, that, that's what I did. I saw the opportunity there. I loved real estate because I all the money that I made from promoting, I invested in in real estate. Yeah, wow. and it, you know, made some decent money doing that. And I was lucky that I did that in my 20s. That's what kind of set me up for my 30s. And I promote that a lot. I tell a lot of young, young people, you know, buy a property, start off, you know, get something because you know, if you invest early, you know, in your your 20s. You know, you're basically setting yourself up for your future. A hundred percent. So, yeah. you know, obviously we're going to talk about social media and branding in a second. Yes. And you can yeah. take something that you're really good at because you've become essentially a powerhouse in Toronto when it comes to commercial real estate. So I just want to clarify that. But when it comes to pre- new pre-construction, so new- like new homes, yes, new sales. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. You know, yep. we're going to say maybe for a future episode, how do you get into that, depending on the, yeah. audience, the questions. But what I want to give the audience is more so what 
they're passionate about kind of you found your passion. Yes. And you got so good at it that you got to a point saying, I have to expand my brand. So walk us through, because if anyone looks you up on social media, any platform, they can see you have some of the most dynamic um, content when it comes to showcasing Thank you. of your work. You're so welcome. So walk us through why is it so important, regardless of what their passion is. It could be real estate. It could be yeah. uh, someone that sells shoes online. Talk the audience through why is it so important to get your brand on point and how to get it really out there on social media? Yeah. So um, I just want to go by like how it started off, right? Because it started off with when I was just making videos of doing soccer tricks. You can find it online. You type in my name, Corrado Aranjo, and people were finding me on YouTube. Like this was like 20 years back, right? And that was branding. You know, like soccer teams saw me, they saw me making these videos. This guy's like, I was doing like freestyle tricks, like soccer tricks. That's when like NikeFootball.com was really big. I'm not sure if you remember. Yeah. Uh, Ronaldinho did a lot of the videos and stuff like that. So that kind of inspired me. So I started making videos uh, with soccer tricks and then saw how powerful the internet was and branding yourself. Um, and then, you know, I kind of did that with the nightclub scene. So all the people that I used to bring to clubs, because I worked at some of the biggest venues in the city in Toronto, I got from the internet is all from branding. So before when I was branding, like, you know, I was doing a lot of the marketing, I was, I wasn't using my, my personal name. I was using a company, right? I was using a company called Just Entertainment. So I was just promoting on every single website that promoted the nightclub seat, the nightclub events in Toronto or Canada. Um, and then when Facebook came out, we were just, I was just going crazy, spending money on ads, like, you know, posting videos and stuff like that, um, flyers and, and, and that's, that created a brand. And what happened was people would just come to my events because of the company that I started just entertainment. They didn't really care about like some, some of them didn't even care about the venue. They just came because of the brand that, that I created. Yep. Yeah. And, and events like there were some events I remember that I that I used to do, uh, especially the Halloween ones where I called it the, the Diablo Halloween ball. And that's that party started with like maybe 700 people. My last event, I did like five thousand five hundred in one night. Wow. Just just from that brand, like how I promoted that that event. Right. Yeah. I. uh not only do I admire that, I respect them so many levels. And, you know, anyone that's watching and listening, we all have fear, right? I don't care yeah. how strong you are. But what's on the other side of fear is what? Freedom, right? Yes. Freedom to be who you are, do what you want. And it's about taking chances. I mean, just a quick segue, we'll take my brand, Caliente Fitness. Yeah. This was a concept. I love that name. <laughs> <laughs> thank you and this was just an idea because i was like you know jason's cool but they have to understand what is caliente fitness you know it's a wellness company to help you transform mentally emotionally physically into peak yeah. state and that took a life of its own you know just yeah. like you had major success you know it, it just landed everywhere so I feel connecting the dots, especially to anyone that's currently thinking about taking their brand to the next level. Yes. Get good. Get good at something and then smash it all the way. Right. Yeah. Both you and I, you know, we couldn't have done anything without being talented at something. You were clearly exactly. talented at soccer. You were clearly talented in commercial real estate. Uh, sorry. In a, a new home, uh, new home state. Same thing with me. I personally, I was overweight for many years, and then what did I do? I helped others, and then yes. it took a life of its own. So, what tips would you give someone? Say they just, you know, they're doing really good. They're rocking it. Maybe they do home improvements. Yes. Maybe they uh, they make uh, baby clothes. Something, and they're they're really just just awesome. Yeah. 
what steps, because I want you to give three tips and I'm going to give my own three tips. Yes. Taking it to social media. Like what are your t- three uh, takeaways on that? Yeah, I think people just have to try different things and see what works. And um, people like that are, you know, looking at your content, obviously they kind of like, you know, gravitate towards um, authenticity, I believe. So like for me, I love soccer, right? So like I'll make videos. I'm not sure if you saw the last one I did about Messi and his his whole contract in the MLS. Um, So like, yeah, because I love soccer. A lot of the a lot of the soccer content that I put out goes viral but when i'm talking about just like just real estate in toronto and canada it's a small niche so it doesn't go viral so what i normally do is you know like i'll 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 mix it up i'll I'll throw out throw in a little bit of investing about stocks but i'll always talk about real estate so it's it's important to like try different things and stuff that you're passionate about and kind of fuse it in with with uh with whatever you want to do if it's selling shoes if it's you know, being a real estate agent or whatever it is, like just trying different things and see, seeing what works and what you like to put out. Absolutely. I mean, from what what I'm getting, it's personalized, personalized, personalized. Yeah. Yes. Well, most people don't know, and this is my tip, I guess. You are your brand, right? Exactly. Yeah. And Think about why did Nike get so big? A lot of people didn't buy into Nike until Jordan came around. We all know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we always synchronize mentally and emotionally how how a brand makes us feel. Right. Think of McDonald's. I hate to break it to you. Most people think of who? Ronald McDonald. Donald. Yeah. So (laughs) it's it, it. That's what it is. So I like how. You connected soccer with your current brand that's making you a, an amazing quality form of living for you, your wife, yes. your kid, right? Yeah. And, yeah. And, and same thing with me. You know, I was able to parlay actually with me being the face of Caliente Fitness. I took a pain, a pain that I had and was able to combat it so other people can connect with that pain and say, damn. If he can bring pleasure to himself and happiness, yeah. I can too. Right? Yes. Yeah. Um, so and go ahead. A lot of people, you know, they're like, they want a perfect setup. You know, they're like, how do I start? Like they're, you know, like they'll be like, I need to buy, you know, an expensive camera. Just start with your phone, you know. A lot I think I think that's important. Uh Like when I started making videos, not a lot of agents, real estate agents were making videos. Like people were looking at me like, what's this guy doing when I was going to like projects and stuff? Um, A lot of the the, uh, real estate developments, like they're like, what is this guy doing? And now everyone's doing it. Literally, right? Yeah. But I kind of like in my mind, I'm like in the next five, 10 years when I started making videos, I remember I'm like, everyone's going to do this one day. So I'm going to take full advantage now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of the opportunity. Yeah. You were, I relate to you. I mean, God, you and I have been friends here for a few years now. Yeah. Uh, what's the word? And that's that how we know? met. Right. Yeah. Making content. We, yeah. Just for anyone watching or listening. Yeah. Me and Corrado have never met in person. No. And uh, we connected on social media, on Instagram. He was verified before the whole pay $15.95 a month subscription. <laughs> and yeah. I hate to call anybody out there on that. We'll talk about that in a second. Yeah, yeah, we should. This guy, this guy caught my attention and I caught his. Yeah, he did. It was like this uh, uh, branding social media uh, uh, bromance, we'll call it. It's like, man, yeah. it's, it's cool. Like, like it was a, 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 a respect, kind of like when you think of the mentality of say Lou Ferrigno and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like they're yeah. both badasses, but yeah. they have a friendly competitive side. It's like, yeah, you know yeah. what? Okay, cool. I see what you're doing. So I I like what you said earlier too. Don't worry about the fancy mic. The no. Camera. Just go for it, you know? And I also like, and I hope you guys are taking notes, Trial and error. See what's bringing you the views, right? So I suggest 
Example, do different category videos, yeah. uh, do different category photos, right? Whether it be, you know, of your product or you talking about what you offer. Yeah, Obviously, posting at different times, different days. Yeah. Like different. every little thing matters. Yep. Yeah. And then create your formula. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. It's not going to happen overnight. You know, for some people, it may. A video can go viral and I could put you on the map, but it does take time. Look, viral will only get you in the door. It'll get you in the door. It's like, I'll break the ice and then you got to keep going. 100%. What's going to keep you in is what you have to ask yourself. And if that worked and maybe you did another video and it did not go as, you know, as awesome, don't give up. Yeah. Because the issue is 99.9% .9 of people, they're giving up because they're not getting instant gratification. Exactly. So, but let's just really do a comparison point. with a lot of my clients. They have a great success rate because of consistency, mm -hmm. right? They're not any more special than anybody out there. But when you see these awesome transformations that I do, okay, oh, wow, Jason, you helped a woman lose like 180 pounds. Yeah. Or you helped a man decide he doesn't want to commit suicide. Here's the deal. I'm, a, I'm just a coach, just like you're a coach helping people find their project special home, right? Yes. Yeah. But the people, every all the people that are watching and listening right now, you guys are the professionals. We're just here to aid you. This is just tips to yeah. make you make sure you follow through. You, right? You have to follow through. We can't hold your hand. If you're overweight, do you go to the gym once a week or once a month? You're not going to get the results, right? You're not going to get the results. Exactly. It's, it's basically you got to put in the work. You got to put in the work. You know. And I have kids. I have kids. I put them to bed during the day I'm working. But after I put them to bed, I'm making videos. Yeah. Right, right? now, it's 1130 in, yeah. in Toronto. Yeah, in Toronto. Okay. And this man texted we, me, I think, at 5.45 a.m. That This will give you an idea of drive. <laughs> now, most people may be thinking, well, I don't, man. That's and I'm sorry. I called you by accident too early oh, morning. It's, it's, yeah. I, was, I was up 30 minutes yeah. later. I was ready. Let's go. <laughs> so, but, but how, what do you, what advice do you give somebody? Like I said earlier, I've walked people off of the ledge. I've helped people lose all this weight. But like yeah. you said, it's putting in the work. If you have mental, say, say you have mental uh, health issues, right? Yeah. Anxiety, depression. Do you go to the therapist once a month or do you go once or twice a week? Right? Yeah. You can do either or, but you have to ask yourself, how quickly do I want to conquer this? Right? Exactly. Yeah. If you're, if you're passionate about branding and social media, right? Instead of, and I say this because I used to be very insecure and I'm far yes. from perfect. Yeah. If I were to go back, let's just play devil's advocate. <clears throat> yeah. You and I are in our 20s and you and I were hearing our future selves right now. Yeah. More than likely, we're kind of like nervous like this, like, oh, I don't know, man. These guys have done a lot of stuff, you know, like Parado yeah. successful, Jason successful. Besides saying the typical don't be lazy, right? Yeah. Don't give up. What is the advice you would give to your younger self that would really tweak somebody? You know what? My younger self was, I had a lot of drive. Like I was one of those guys that like, I never gave up. I kept trying, like, you know, I would always try different things to get better. I didn't care what people thought. It's just, I think it's something that my parents kind of like instilled in me. You know, my mom, she's like, don't care what other people say. Keep doing it. Keep going. Don't give up. So I wasn't one of those guys that wouldn't, you know, give it a shot. You know, like I was, I would always do it. Um, what do you tell someone that has, and I get it. This is a tough question. This is what yeah, gets inspired. It is a tough question. Yes. It, yes. It, 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 and it's hard. And that's what get inspired is all about. This is a community. Yeah. 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 Because a lot of my audiences right now, and I'm challenging you in a fun way. Yeah. They didn't have the best upbringings. Right. Yes. Maybe yeah. not have had the awesome dad or mom or yeah. whatever. Maybe they have trauma. 
how do we psychologically, what would you tell, say, someone that's shadowing you right now that wants to become the next Corrado, but didn't have that, that push from mom and dad? Like, you know what? I think it just came to my mind. It's just going through failure, like failing in something. You got to go through it. Like back, I remember when I started my, my extreme PETA franchise, like I bought a franchise cause I was making money promoting. My dad wanted me to get out of the club business cause he thought it was dangerous. And, uh, and he's like, uh, you know, start a business. And I also wanted to do it. You know, I was passionate about starting a business. And so I, I bought into this franchise and part of me didn't want to do it. Right. But I needed to learn, but, but I needed to learn and lose money a lot of money. I lost $300,000 at a young age. I needed to lose that just to teach myself a lesson hmm. and, and to like, you know, learn to do my due diligence, proper due diligence and failure is going to make me go further in life. Yeah. Like that, that money that I lost, if I didn't lose that money at that age, I th I don't think I'd be where I am today. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I would have got my real estate license. Um, you know, another thing is I don't want to be a real estate agent earlier in my career, like, or, you know, when I was, uh, maybe my early twenties, because back then the way it was is people would, you know, they, they wanted an older real estate agent. They don't want a younger real estate agent, but yeah. now things have changed. I see a lot of, a lot of younger agents in their twenties that are very successful. Um, but back then, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't want to get it. I don't think it was because I was insecure because I was very confident at a young age. It was more of like, you know, I was like, I'm too young. But, but you know, that kind of being in the club scene is what taught me how to like be a people person. Yeah. Right. So, but uh, I think, I think failure is great. And while you're failing and you're going through that, like, you just got to like understand this is teaching you something and it's going to make you get to that next level in life. 100%. Without it, you can't get to that next level where you want to be. You're going to have to fail. 100%. Yeah. And, and, you know, a lot of times I tell people, like I used to tell myself when I was younger. Yeah. I would always compare myself to everybody else, which is one of yes. the biggest, worst things you yes, can do. Yes, yes. But I'm not as tall as him, guys. I'm yeah. not as rich as them, guys. Yeah. They have a better up. It, you see how that negative yeah. self talk. And then it came to, you know, as I got older, I realized those people I was comparing myself with, I was only seeing a speed, a, a sped up reel of their life. Yeah. I only saw the, the cool car. I yeah. only saw, you know, what they put out. And then once I became mentally very aware, and essentially an awakening, so to speak, I started realizing just because it looks good doesn't mean it is good, right? No. And just like a lot of successful people that you and I know, whether they're famous basketball, soccer players, movie stars, we've yeah. been around a lot of successful people. Most people don't realize that with success comes a lot of stress. And with a lot of stress, yeah. you need to have a lot of strength. Because hundred percent, the uh, hardest thing for me was understanding and learning that, you know, you have to be basically like, you know, you, you got to go through a lot of failures, right. And you have to get comfortable being uncomfortable, being uncomfortable. Oh yeah. Basically. Right. So, you know, get comfortable being uncomfortable because if you're not, and you're comfortable at your job, making whatever money you're making, you're never going to get to that next level. hundred percent. Yeah. And this, guys, just so you know, before we wrap up today, apply this not only in your branding, not yeah. only in your social media, but in everything, right? This can be connected to your relationships with yourself, your relationships with others. You need, and I take, you know, I take the little uh, trophy that you just gave us, failure in order for you to become prosperous, yes. right? It's the only way we know. And yeah. I say that because a lot of times people are given things way too quickly, right? Yeah. Someone inherited, you know, I, I drive down the road. Sometimes I see these 22 year olds driving a brand new Testarossa and yeah. 
Next thing you know, I found out, find out through the grapevine, oh yeah, he just in, inherited $12 million. He's, he's yeah. never even worked at McDonald's. I'm like, gotcha. Like same thing with me. A lot of people get shocked. Not just that I was obese until I was 21, yeah. but I worked at seven, eight different fast food restaurants. So when people ask me, how did you get your hustle? Yeah. I legitimately started from the bottom. I was a yeah. high school dropout. You can't make up that. And at the time, I was miserable. So anyone that's watching and listening, thinking, oh, this is wishful thinking, Corrado. This is yeah. wishful thinking. Yeah. You yeah. got to start, no matter if, say, Corrado started 40% better than I did, or if way higher than, like, you're just in a really bad place in life. I don't want you to just not try. And not just try, but try many times and realize every time you fail, don't say, why is this happening to me? Say, what is this teaching me? Yeah. And again, going back to the social media, just keep posting. You mean, you, you know, you may not get that many likes or that many views, but you know, you're just, you're just one post away from, you know, getting, getting some clients, getting some business from it. You know, sometimes some of my content, I don't get that many likes. I don't get that many views, but there's yeah. that one person that will buy a property for me that will make me like, you know, $20,000 yeah. off, off a post. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and, and I, and I want to, just in case people ask this question, I want to cover it before we wrap up social media advertisements, whether it's TikTok, whether it's Facebook, whether it's yeah. Instagram. Me personally, gonna I want to get your your take on it. Yeah, I have invested money into it. I haven't seen a lot of ROI, return on investment. Mm -hmm. I rather spend my time making awesome content. And if it yeah. goes viral, great. Do you feel the same way for anyone that's wondering about that? I I really think it depends what they're doing for real estate. Um, being a realtor, I think it makes sense spending a lot of money on, on Google ads, on Facebook, you know, on Instagram. But I think before you do that, you have to just kind of get a better understanding of what type of content to put out. That's going to intrigue that, you know, your clientele, your, that the buyer, right? So in every niche is it's different, you know, but for, for real estate specifically, some real estate agents disagree. They think that, you know, I'm just going to, you know, like you said, just put out better videos, right? But if you could spend $100 on a Facebook ad and you can make a $15,000 check, commission check, like, isn't it worth it? And that's happened to me many times, not just once. It's happened to me many times. So, uh, you know, I still think there's a big opportunity depending the niche and what you're doing and, and in, you know, learning how to create, you know, create the ads too. Maybe you have to hire someone to do it, right? Like a, a social media a manager or something. I'm lucky that, you know, I have that marketing background and I, I did all of that when Facebook first started, when you're, you know, you could first start posting, like uh, boosting your ads. Cause back then it was just like, you just press boost yep. <laughs> and put whatever money you want, target the areas and stuff. Now it's a little bit harder. There's different types of campaigns you can run. Um, uh, but, uh, but yeah, like it, it, I, I think it really depends on what you're doing, like what, what you're in, like if you're in real estate or car sales person or whatever it is. Yeah. Different niches, different places, yeah. different ways to spend money or, or save money. Um, yeah. well, Corrado, I gotta say, I have a really good feeling we're going to be doing different upcoming episodes because you and I have a lot of different categories to touch on. But for now, I want to say the following. Number one, thank you for being awesome. Thanks for having me, man. Thanks. Absolutely. Yeah. Number two, if anybody is legitimately stuck, excited, or you're just wanting more and have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment, whether it's on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes. Drop it. Me and Corrado are going to hook you up and we're going to answer you directly through DM. What I want you to do is take a screenshot, whether it be Twitter, whether it be TikTok, of this episode. Tag both Corrado on Instagram 
and Jason Roselle live. Corrado, dude, you're keeping it caliente, man. Love it, man. Love Trying it. to keep it like you. <laughs> hey, man, the powers of the seas. Well, listen, guys, yeah. thank you for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. Follow Corrado right now on all platforms. The links are going to be right here in the bio. Have the best day ever. And if your day's going menza, menza, you already menza, know the menza. deal. Get a little caliente, <laughs> Corrado, and we'll get it going. Take Love care. It. Thank you, Jason. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer. And don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle, and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.